Hi, I'm Andy Graham, Certified Fastener Specialist with BoltsandNuts.com and today I'm going to be showing you how to measure bolts and nuts using our exclusive vinyl bolts and nuts measuring gauge. Here on my desk I have some miscellaneous fasteners. Let's try to identify their size using this gauge. Alright, this gauge might look confusing at first, but it's actually very easy, so let's get into it. To measure a bolt, we're going to need to measure the diameter, which we're going to use these holes here the thread pitch, which we're gonna use these prongs for, and the length, which we're gonna use these rulers for. This gauge is split into two sides. We have our inch ruler and our millimeter metric ruler down below. The side posts are for measuring nuts. First thing we're gonna try and figure is the diameter. We're gonna take this bolt here and we're gonna start pushing it into holes until it has a snug fit. Basically the last hole it'll fit into. It's getting a little tighter. It's perfectly snug in 5 16 This bolt is a 5 16 diameter. The next size we want to figure is the thread pitch. And on an inch bolt, that's going to be threads per inch. So how many threads are there in a one inch section of the bolt? So knowing that this is a 5 16 bolt, we're going to come over to the 5 16 prong. And it's either going to be 24 threads per inch or 18 threads per inch. I'm going to start at the... 18, and that is a perfect match. So this bolt is a 5 16 18 coarse thread. The next measurement we're gonna wanna find is the length. And when you're measuring length on fasteners, you wanna measure everything that goes into a hole. So basically, when this fastener is installed, the head doesn't go through the hole that's gonna sit on top. So we actually don't measure the head. The length of this fastener is only gonna be from the underside of the head. And if I bring it up right here, I could see it is exactly one inch long. So this is a 5 16 18 by one inch bolt. So we have this bolt here, it's a metric. I can tell by the grade marking on top, 10.9. And we're gonna pretty much do the same thing. So what we're gonna do is start sticking it in the holes until it gets a snug fit. It's pretty good in the 10. Perfect fit in the 10. So this bolt, is a 10 millimeter diameter bolt. So when it comes to metric thread pitch, this gauge actually does not measure it. it. If you look here, it only measures the inch sizes. So we've created a super helpful thread pitch chart that could be found on our website. We've also listed the link down below in the description. It'll help you determine the thread pitch for metric bolts along with inch and has a lot more information. It's actually pretty cool, you should give it a look. All right, now carrying on. Looking at this bolt, these threads are spaced further apart and I've worked with so many bolts that I know that this bolt is coarse thread. So this bolt is M10 by 1.5. So now it's time to measure the length on this again. Again, we're gonna measure from the underside of the head to the end of the threads. If we look here, this bolt is approximately 30 millimeters. So this is an M10 1.5 by 30 millimeter length hex bolt. Next, we're gonna measure the size of this nut. We're gonna be able to tell the diameter and whether or not it's coarse or fine. This gauge will only work for inch nuts. What we're gonna do is we're gonna come over to these side posts here and we're gonna start putting it on until it has a snug fit. Three eighths. So this is a three eighths hex flange nut and it's actually stopping before it gets down. So that means it's also coarse thread. If this nut was to push all the way down, it would actually be fine thread. There's a little perch there that'll stop the nut. So if it stops before it gets to the bottom, it's coarse. If it makes it all the way down to the bottom, it's fine. So this nut is 3816 coarse thread. I hope you found this short tutorial to be helpful and informative. Here at BoltsandNuts.com, we stock all different types of fasteners in various grades and sizes. If you have any questions at all, feel free to reach out directly or post them in the comments below. Please like and subscribe for future fastener content. Thank you for watching.